Okay, so this update is just a little bit of a quick update. Um, so we got our sprint function working. So sprint function is working, but we have also adjusted our flashlight, but I'll start with sprint first. So with the sprint, we have press start sprint, release stop sprint. And then we go all the way over to here. <coughs> so it'll drain stamina by five and then it subtracts it so I realized one thing that I did that I probably shouldn't have done and that was moved these over so this one should be true and then this one should be in false so we'll just quickly switcheroo these two so they are now switched just compile save so I'll start with regen, regen regenerates 5 stamina if it's false so if you're not sprinting then you regen stamina 0.5 um, just need to rename these Dang. and regen and then we'll go file, save all. Okay, so with the drain, it drains one when you move. If it's true, you stop sprinting. If it's false, then it opens the branch, and if the branch is true, then it will drain stamina. Pretty simple. Then we've created these two functions over here. So I'll start off and start sprinting. So when you start sprinting, the max walk speed is 500. Is sprinting, drain stamina, character movement. So we've got the character movement from over here. And we created is sprinting here, as well as stamina and max stamina. So stamina is at 50, while the max stamina is 100. So, with the stop sprinting, we have, it's the exact same, but instead, is sprinting is ticked, and regen stamina, oh, so is sprinting should be ticked off, and then regen stamina. So, pretty simple. I also touched up this a little bit, so, I just made it look a bit prettier. <coughs> but with our BP first person, you'll notice the spotlight aiming down now. And we have this little torch. So, I'll show you the torch. So, this is the little torch model that we have. it's not too bad nothing special <coughs> but then if we go back go back to UI and I'll show you some things we changed so we updated these to progress bars this is going to be base UI and we're getting a little dot point here so that it's central and this little block, I haven't described much, but this block is pretty much going to be if you have your flashlight on or off, then it enables that. So it just pops up if it's on or off, which I'll set up soon. Um, but back to this, so I'll show you how it looks. So if I make it visible, It's 
all the torches for now. It needs its textures on, and then it has the spotlight that comes from the torch. So I'll just make that invisible again, compile and save. But if we press play, you'll see it's pretty relatively simple. Okay, so it's the normal speed and then so normal speed now and sprinting, sprinting and then just stops because you ran out of stamina. Normal speed, sprinting, sprinting and then stops because you ran out of stamina. Still get the jump but you got a cool flashlight now. So new little feature that was added added this to make it look a bit prettier you can pick the gun up from here if you feel so you can still play around with the gun I just moved its positioning just because why not sitting on the seat <coughs> and then just exit to desktop but it doesn't seem like much, but that's quite a bit to do, put all together. Um, and our event graph is looking more and more full. So the next thing that I will be working on is peaking and streaking. But with that flashlight, you probably notice still the same flip-flop option, but now it sets the visibility for both the torch and the spotlight at the same time. But yeah, that's about it.